Hey guys, this is going to be a fairly quick one today. I'm at uh, DFW Airport and I'm flying to Tampa because i got to give a briefing down there today. But I want to talk to you about the Battle of Avdivka and uh, what some intelligence that I saw, what some video I saw kind of means for the Russian army. For those of you who don't know, uh, for the past couple of weeks, the Ukrainian army has been fighting uh, the Russians in Avdivka and Russia has slowly been grinding against Ukrainian forces. They have encircled them to a point. There is a pocket in Avdivka and Ukrainians have been uh, successfully defending that pocket against wave after wave after wave of Russian assaults. Many of these assaults have been mechanized assaults and the Russians are losing a horrendous number of equipment. I think we're looking at, I, the last I was told, was uh, three battalion tactical groups, so really now they don't really use BTGs anymore, so you can say three battalions of mechanized infantry. Uh, the losses are absolutely horrendous. But I want to show you this one particular video because there's a very good intelligence indicator on this video. Take a look at these two Russian BTRs. One is pushing the other through a minefield. Okay, so what does that show you? Well, that shows you a couple of things. The first is that these soldiers may have taken the initiative and just said, you know what, we need to get through this minefield. Let's take this BTR that's broken down and push it in front of us like a primitive mine roller. So it could have showed desperation, or it could show that Russia may have run out of mine plows or mine rollers in this one particular sector in Av Avdivka can also mean that they have a serious shortage of mine rollers or mine plows in this sector. One final thing it does show is that assaulting a minefield without proper engineering commit, uh, without proper engineering uh, assets is almost suicidal. So watching the Russians assault this one particular position, I'm reminded of all of these Ukrainian breakouts. We have these extremely expensive vehicles. You know, the uh, T-72 costs a good uh, uh, $750,000 to manufacture one T-72, at least back in the 80s. You have this incredibly expensive vehicle, and an entire attack can be held up by a minefield with mines that cost 300 bucks each. So I wanted to show you this before I got on the plane, because I'm probably going to be busy later. Thank you guys so much for watching. In a world where fashion meets firepower, where style becomes strategy, it's time to gear up for the ultimate mission with Bunker Brandy. Introducing the Rock Out With Your Chalk Out t-shirt, a tribute to the fearless air of cavalry. Feel the adrenaline rush as you don the pride of the skies. For those of you who dare from the air, precision and power unite when you think outside the bomb. And don't miss our Live Laugh Launch t-shirts for Patriot and High Wars, because sometimes defending freedom means bringing the thunder. Finally, for the true defender of the seas, we present Department of the Boat People. Sail with honor and show your allegiance to the world's mightiest maritime force. With these shirts, hoodies, and stickers, along with the tow missile, landmines, and drone warfare. These aren't just shirts, they're statements. They're your way of saying I stand for strength, unity, and style. Get yours at Bunker Branding today.